I'm Ash from G and welcome back to my channel, InfoAsh. Today's topic is going to be Forgotten Scientists. Up first is Rosalind Franklin. Rosalind Franklin is probably one of the most underrated scientists we are going to cover in this video. She is now known to be one of the two scientists who discovered DNA and its structure. There are even rumors that the other two scientists, James Watson and Francis Crick, stole from Rosalind's ideas. The story goes like this. Franklin was a chemist and x-ray crystallographer and worked at King's College, London. Her collaborator there was Maurice Wilkins, but the two did not get along very well. Her work, including data and photographs of DNA, was shared with Crick and Watson without her permission. Crick and Watson later received the Nobel Prize for this work, whereas Franklin did not because she had died four years before they received the award. Only 20 years later, she started to get recognized for her work. to the second person on our list, Subramanyam Chandrasekhar. Unlike most scientists on this list, Subramanyam Chandrasekhar didn't eventually get the credit he deserved by winning the Nobel Prize at age 73. Chandrasekhar was born in what was then British India, now Pakistan. He wrote his first academic paper at age 19 and was awarded a Government of India scholarship to go to Cambridge and study there. At just 20, he came up with the concept of the Chandrasekhar limit. The Chandrasekhar limit was the maximum mass of a stable white dwarf star. Above this limit, the star would either explode or collapse into a black hole. But when Chandrasekhar presented his findings at the Royal Astronomical Society, he was publicly ridiculed by Sir Arthur Eddington, who until then acted as a mentor to him. Now, the clash was between an internationally famous scientist and a young Indian student, so Chandrasekhar had to retire. But eventually, 37 years later, the first black hole was discovered and Chandrasekhar's theory was proved correct. Coming up next is number three on our list, Lise Meitner. Lise Meitner is an Austrian physicist who helped discover nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is the splitting of atoms in a nuclear rea reaction, releasing massive amounts of energy. This lays a groundwork for the atomic bomb. Meitner collaborated with German chemist Otto Hahn who published their findings without including Meitner as a co-author. So Hahn alone went on to win the Nobel Prize for this work. Number four on our list is Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. Tsiolkovsky was a Russian and Soviet rocket scientist who first proposed to send rockets to space using a liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen propulsion system. He is known to be the father of rocketry along with German scientist Hermann Oberth and American physicist Robert Goddard who developed many of the same ideas independently as Tsiolkovsky years before. Finally, as a recognition of his work, a, a crater on the far side of the moon is named after him. Last but not least on our list is Gary Stevens. For most of human history, it's been a mystery as to what determines the gender of a child born. Theories abounded that it's a result of nutrition or different body temperatures or other assorted things, but that was disproven by Nettie Stevens. 
During her research on mealworm beetles, she noticed that the gender of a child was determined by chromosomes. But Edmund Beecher Wilson, who was Stevens' colleague, was more credited for this work rather than Stevens herself. So that's it for today's video. I hope you really liked this video. And as always, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell icon to get a notification as soon as I post a video. So keep a watch out for my next video and a hint. It has to do something with one of the world's most played sports. So until then, Ashley signing off.